Hello, this is Broy, and welcome back to another episode of a Let's Play Imperator Rome, playing as Subia. Well, that's Broyer, but there we go, Subia. Um, yeah, and we're just kind of trucking along here, and uh, expand it a little bit, just to kind of see what that was, and try it out a little bit. We do have oh, centralization efforts. After seeing our people slowly moving towards the tribal centers of our nation, Elder Idalic Dualdis suggested certain measures we can take to increase the unification of our society. Though his suggestion seems well considered, it would cost us a noticeable amount of gold, but not taking his advice would certainly frustrate him. So we lose some gold, but become more centralized, which I think is still something we want to do. And actually start getting some monthly centralization, which is not something that we have right now, right? Yeah, we are currently dead zero. This would actually start getting us gaining centralization. Either way, we actually gain centralization. One just gains a little bit less. Um... Why not? Let's, lose, let's move some, use some gold. I think it's good for us to gain some centralization because I think it's about time for us to really start thinking about what's next for our, our you know, our country. We've gotten pretty big. Can't stay a tribe forever. I would like to take out some of these other neighbors, but I would really like some manpower for that. Although, I suppose since we have enough um, clan leaders to do some stuff, we can just use their manpower, quite frankly. Right? Because these all use their manpower. This is the only one that uses ours. That doesn't sound right, because if that was the case, since ours is capped out currently... Oh, no, wait, where's ours? This one's ours, over here. No, it is capped out as well. So the only one that's using manpower is this one. Oh, that's because of these right here, which are not actually his. They're loyal to him, but they are not his. Interesting. Can we um, consolidate anything? No, we can't. Okay, can we create a new unit, really? Surely not, can we? I was going to say, no, can't. Alright, so because those aren't actually his, they are counting towards our manpower. So that's unfortunate. But... We still have plenty of other guys that we can use. I mean, if we didn't use you, we still have, what, 18, 16, 16. That's plenty of guys to use to go after somebody else. I kind of think we need to. Um, Like, for example, this guy, maybe, or one of these guys. What about you? Like, what are you... What's your current situation? You are at war with a revolt. You are in an alliance with some people. But I don't think I really care about you being in an alliance. I'm not worried about it. What about you? You are not in alliance with anybody. You have a CB against me. Um... We need 183 oratory to get a get a CB. I don't think we have a. Uh, yeah, we don't have a. We don't have a CB at the moment. All right, we'll hold off, and we'll save up our oratory, and we'll we'll start declaring war on some people. We got plenty of clan armies that are capped out right now, just waiting for some war. They're getting getting restless, I'm sure. Knock out these guys, turn our attention, get these guys back here. But obviously, we need oratory power for all of those things which unfortunately is not has not been very easy for us to gain especially with your oratory power being literally the lowest thing you have everything else about you is pretty good honestly but your oratory is terrible why are you moving around what are you doing buddy going somewhere else that's got better supply limit or something we don't have any ships right now. Well, we could go after some ships and things. I don't know if... I haven't really felt like we've had the need for it up till now. Yeah, we're about to be capped out soon-ish. All of our guys are moving around doing their thing for whatever reason. Right, we'll go up to speed 5, just so we can get to the 186 mark. What are you guys doing? I have no idea what you guys are doing. Apparently you cannot make up your mind. Trade route has disappeared. Uh, okay, fair enough. Which does mean we are probably short two trade routes now. Not sure, whatever. Um, do we have... Okay, we get some horses coming in. 
which uh, gives us light cavalry discipline. I mean, that's not too bad, right? I mean, we do have some light cavalry in our troops. Sure, why not? Bring that in. And that is the only one we can pick up right now, right? We're still, still one shy. Come on, Oratory Power. So slow. I mean, I did spend a lot of it on some upgrades and things, so there's that. Uh, a dispute, etc., etc. So we can get some loyalty with one, lose loyalty with the other. Get either some military power, some gold, or we can just split the land between them. They both lose loyalty. That is Neither one of those is great. None of these are great. Well, this is all just awesome. This one seems to be the less... You know, maybe negative. Cost will just accept that uh, one of these guys, maybe whichever one's the, the weaker. Um, you're at 79, you are at 16. So you actually technically looks like the weaker one. So maybe I'm okay with you being a little bit less happy. Gives us some, some money and some local tax. Um, now yeah, we'll go with this. Which is not great. Oh, I am falling ill. About to go to war and <laughs> my leader is not in a good place. So is loyalty going down? It is going down not by much though. Could lose some money and get a little bit of increased loyalty. Could just accept the corruption. It has to lower our oratory power, though. It's not great. Um, but would get us out of this hole with him. Honestly, I think we just need to accept the fact that he's probably just going to be unhappy. He's 72 years old. Honestly, I'm surprised he's still alive. That sounds really bad. <laughs> Poor this time period, I should specify. Um, some more... Population growth, maybe? Keep, just keep going that route. Keep pushing that one. Really get our population growing as much as possible. I think this is the right thing. Obviously, more manpower is always good, but research points at some point will be pretty useful. But no, I, still, I think we still just need to keep growing. I don't think there's much we can do to stem the tide of his unhappiness. Actually, does it going up now? Oh, it's basically changing by nothing at the moment. Well, that's okay. Meanwhile, our oratory power is still very slow. Another trade route. Except for now. I think all of these are fine. Getting us more money. We actually have a lot of money at the moment. Hey, and our manpower is finally starting to go up. Um... So, there's nothing else we can add here. So let's just find us another good, highly populated city. Um, where is population? Population. So, like, maybe over here. Or one of these two. You're at 555. You're at 5261. I don't know. I don't think it really matters. But let's start with one of these. Obviously, at some point, it would be nice to get you... More civilized as well. But let's start with a... Let's just do another marketplace here. Actually, you know what? Why don't we just do a marketplace in both? Sure, why not? That could be useful. Ah, uh, Minister of Excellence. Merobid. Merobald. In a fine display of financial acumen has made significant alterations to the national budget. Some more national tax for two years. Uh, or he can just keep it himself. Which does give him some loyalty. He's at 80% right now. So honestly, he's fine. Let's take, take the extra money for us. Uh, I'm sure, whatever. I right, still don't have a trade route I can go after, do I? Oh, I do. Furs. Um, which would technically give us a surplus. Which does give us more starting experience. Not that great. But honestly, a trade route I think is still going to give us money as well. So why not? Let's just get get us something going. I think it gets us a little bit extra money. 
I know the exports do, obviously. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it goes the other direction. Oh, the guy that was kind of unhappy with us is now, um, now dead. So, really, just doing that one trade route dropped our money by that much. No, that doesn't make sense. Man, a lot of people are dying all of a sudden. Why are we losing so much money? I'm, 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 I'm confused. Hmm. Maybe that trade route is hurting us? I thought it didn't matter. I thought it was just like kind of a positive no matter what you did. Yeah. This first one is giving us 0.24 each month. Why did taking that trade route? Something, something else must have happened that flipped it negative against us. Um, I don't think it really matters who we pick up here. So we'll just grab the guy that's the most. Does lower aggressive expansion. Nothing else here to change around. Just lower provinces. Eventually going to be loyal someday, maybe. Lack of commander. Okay, we definitely need a commander here. Oh, and these are now ours, apparently, because of their leader died. Is this not us? Oh, this is our son. I was going to say, is that not us? It's the same basic name. All right, that is the same name as us, isn't it? Yeah, Abram. It's literally our, our son. All right, so now we actually have another another one that is ours um, that we're having to pay. Oh, that's what it is. We have more troops that we're having to pay for because a new clan just spun up from the other guy being dead. That's what happened. Okay, then. I kind of don't know that we want to keep these around. Where they're at. Not there. Not there. Ah, it's those. Yeah, I don't know if we want to keep these around after all. That is kind of expensive. I mean, we may have to get rid of the guys that aren't loyal. Or just get rid of all of them. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love having the troops, but we do not have the money to pay for said troops. And since these are not loyal to their leader at the moment, we have the opportunity to disband them, which is not ideal. I don't like it, but... Man, yeah, I really don't like it. But it is what it is. We're about to be in a position to be able to go to war, and I really don't need to be in negative while we're doing that. Alright, so be it. It's, it's terrible, but... We just, we can't, we can't afford to pay for them. So we still have three um, full clan cohorts right now that we can, we can use. Um, this one's starting to grow, which, you know, that's helpful. And we are starting to make money again. All right, so that works. And we can go ahead and declare war. So let's grab the clan cohorts and let's get them over here on the border. Where's your military? Oh, pretty good, actually. We'll get you up here, and we will get, don't know if it really matters which one of you, uh, you're terrible, so we'll move you up here. I think those two is all we will need for this, this war. And we will go ahead and fabricate a claim. And once we get over there, we will, uh, we'll pop this. I'll bring you close just in case it comes up, but I can't imagine it will. All right, some of our troops moving around. This causes a little bit of attrition. All right, we're in position. Let's go ahead and slow things down. Uh, we are full morale. Let me double check it this time. A couple episodes ago, I made some mistakes. Uh, we should be able to jump on these guys right away. And yeah, declare war. And we will take that. Confirm. And which one of you guys is better? You're at a nine. Actually, I don't know if it really matters. I think we can safely do that and this. Actually, I may do do that. Potentially not crossing a, a river. Are you actually going to escape in time? Apparently you are. All 
All right, well, you're just going to sit here and start sieging that down. Can you get over here? Nope, you can't because of the fort. All right, we'll just sit where we're at. Siege this stuff down. It should go pretty quickly. And go from there. I mean, he's got a lot of troops. Don't get me wrong, but I'm really not that worried about it right now. He's even got a little bit of a navy. I mean, presumably we could have a navy that could come over here and help us out. I think you can uh, blockade and that helps a little bit, but I don't know that we've had a need for it just yet. Are you going to come over here and try and siege something down as well? Oh, no, you're going... I don't know where you're going. Go down here somewhere. Oh, are you chasing after those guys over there? Really? Is that really the wise thing to do? Alright, dude, just come back. You don't need to be doing that. Just sit right there, actually. Uh, supply shortage, etc., etc. I mean, as soon, as soon as we get some more oratory power, we may go after another guy. I mean, again, please just focus more on using up... Well, not now we're not using up uh, our clan manpower, using up our own manpower at the moment, but... Uh, We'll just seize this down and then we'll, we'll go from there. You actually might as well move to somewhere that has some supply limit for you. Alright, are you still taking attrition? You are. Where can you go? Literally where that guy was will be fine. And we'll just do that. And then, so that way we're not using our own manpower again. No new technology of anything. Oh, there's the guys over there. And we got to keep an eye on this guy a little bit. Because, oh, uh, are you trying to come after me? Where are you going? You are coming after me. Okay. I'll wait till you're locked. You're not locked yet. Okay, now you're locked. We'll go ahead and move you guys in. That should be enough to stomp on them, right? In theory. Uh, how about you go ahead and move up to here, just in case we have to reinforce again. Uh, should be okay, although this guy might jump in there. No, we're, we're fine. We are victorious, and grab... Okay, you stay here, and grab... Uh, not you, uh, you. I'll break you back off. Let that guy finish the siege. Actually, I should have left the nine here just because it's got higher marshal. Would have helped the siege go a little bit quicker. But the eight's pretty good. Or seven. Seven's still relatively good. Or you're too low? Really? Do you need a nine or higher? What do you need? Where does it say that? Where do we see what we need? No, we need 5,000. Why is it none? What? Too few men. We have 8,700. Okay, something's wrong with the math because we only have 4,500. Why are we not able to count all the men we have? I am... <laughs> I'm confused. Can chariots not assault? I mean, what's going on here? Um, okay. I don't really like this, but I guess we'll move you down there. I'm really confused. Okay. Well, we're advancing again, but losing a lot of men. Really not liking that. I mean, can we maybe split the other one off then? Okay, no. Uh, something's going on here. I have no idea what's causing that to happen. I'm very confused. 
It may be something obvious, but I, I am definitely not seeing it. Apparently some type of troops cannot actually siege or something. Under our stable rule, a lot of people have started to migrate into Saxonia. Seeing this increase in population for Santa, it appears uh, it is apparent what benefits and what problems it brings with it. A little incentive is all that is needed. We actually gain some centralization, lose some oratory power, which is kind of rough. But we do gain some tax for 10 years. Local unrest, though. Could just gain one centralization for free. I think I'll just gain one centralization for free for right now. We are gaining centralization per month, so I don't know if I have to rush it right this second. Getting a free centralization is fine. Spending oratory power for it, I don't know if I'm super keen on that. Yeah, I'm very. I'm really obviously not liking the uh, massive attrition that we're losing right now, but hopefully we get this siege soon. We're up to forty-two percent at least. If we get this, we'll be in a good place. I cannot believe that... Okay, so it's... They're coming in on us. We're going to go ahead and move you in there. I don't know it's our own troops, but... They're closest at the moment. Alright, looks like we're going to be okay, but... Yeah, we're going to be fine. We can just head back. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and automate you... And maybe you'll chase down those guys for me. All right. We are now officially cannot siege here, which just makes no sense. Because I know we have 9,000 troops, supposedly. I'm missing something about their ability to siege or something. Is there a siege weight here somewhere? That, that maybe I'm missing? Also, I should probably check your uh, skirmishing and other things to make sure that's what we want. I must be missing something related to... Oh, that's wrong, guys. Anyway. Um, how much weight you have to siege with. You can order an assault. That's interesting. Probably not a good idea. Alright, so some of these can't assault fortifications. Does that mean the cavalry units are not able to... Is that what the problem is? The cavalry units are not able to... But even still, it says we need 5,000. And if I only add up the guys that are supposedly able to assault... Um, okay, wait a minute. Here we go. Unit weight is 4.996. We have 14,000 in the city. I'm still not understanding all of that, to be honest. Well, if you guys know what's going on here, please let me know. I I'm, I'm missing something. Um, so, we need at least to get something over here. Let's just grab... I'm actually just going to sp split off um, let you guys get in place. I'm going to split... Well, I didn't mean to split in half. Um, merch. I meant to split off a couple units, like maybe a couple spearmen or something. Or light infantry. Oh, you guys are loyal. I guess we'll have to spin off a couple... Well, maybe here's an experiment. I'm going to spin off a couple chariots and see if that makes any difference. If that makes a difference, then we know the chariots do work. If it doesn't, then, well, then we know. Uh, like I'm coming, okay, that's fine. That's the one I just spun off. Are you not chasing anybody down? Or are you trying to chase him down? How about you come down here and go after these guys? Okay, so the chariots don't count. 
What if I just grab the one infantry that we could split off? Because everybody else is loyal to us. Run you over there, see what you do. I'm so confused. Um, you're actually not going to win this, apparently. Oh, you're, you're terrible on the marshal, but it looks like he doesn't very good either. No, we're fine. I don't know why it was yellow. I'll just de -siege that for now. Alright, so that, that was enough. So cav uh, chariots cannot siege. Good to know. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense, but... I wish it would... Maybe it tells us somewhere and I'm just not seeing it. Okay, now suddenly we're not. Alright, you, you get in there. I know it's going to hurt our attrition. I hate it, but we're so close to getting that. Let's just finish it off. I guess I can move you up here now because you actually do have... You've grown yourself into a pretty nice little little group. Uh, actually, why don't you just come down here and help this guy out? Going to here. Okay, you're going to try and stop them there anyway. Alright, we're going to be losing ridiculous amounts of attrition, but at least we are... You're really going to lose this, huh? Alright, so we did get that siege at least. And we're going to grab the other two, just for free. Wow, that is... It's going to be a tight battle, but the other guy will get there and reinforce anyway. So we are fine. We are victorious. Um, Alright, so everybody here, just go independent for now. You guys... I'll just, um, let's see, deselect you two, you guys all merge together, and just everybody go independent. Honestly, all we need is just to, uh, to, uh, capture these last two, which the fort's going to do automatically anyway. Could desiege these two, which I think is going to happen as well. Oh, we're already at 99%. Good enough. We will just grab all of you. Grab all your money. There's really nothing else to do. It's not even that much aggressive expansion. Alright, Phrygian Elite. Oh, that's right. Um, we'll banish as many as we can. Lower aggressive expansion, just a little bit. All right, we're going to put a cut in there. The episode went a little bit long, but we were able to finish this off, and I learned a little bit about sieging. So I guess cavalry and chariots presumably do not help sieges. Well, we know chariots don't. I don't know if cavalry do. I'm, I'm assuming not because of the way the math was looking at. So it looks like just infantry, which that's good to know. Anyway, I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.